Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale Beth Gun Cole Porter gondola from Athern. This model is part of their Ready to Roll line. My example is decorated for Union Pacific with CMO reporting marks. Athern also offers the model in several other paint schemes. This car has a build date of February 2001, so it would be appropriate for modern era trains. The MSRP for a single car is $41.98. Athern is also offering two different sets of five cars each per road name for $198.98. The paint is thin and evenly applied. I really like the way the ribs are a different color from the sides of the car, as well as the patched area under the reporting marks. The model appears to match prototype photos very closely. The markings are crisp and all the tiny writing is legible with magnification. There is a tiny white border around the UP logo on the sides that does not appear in prototype photos. Detail on the sides of the car is good and includes delicate stirrups and freestanding grab irons. A few of the grab irons are not quite straight on my model. There is a noticeable ridge on the side of the curved piece on the bottom of the car that is not present in prototype photos. It would be difficult to remove without having to repaint that portion of the model. The ends of the car have more freestanding grab irons and photo etched crossover platforms. The B end has a delicate brake wheel and brake system components with plumbing, though they are hard to see. As on the real car, the model has yellow paint on the A end. There are no uncoupling levers or train line air hoses. As on the real car, the model has yellow paint on the A end. There are no uncoupling levers or train line air hoses. Both ends have McHenry scale couplers that are mounted at the correct height according to the KD height gauge. The car comes with a removable coal load. The inside of the car has nice bracing detail. I don't like the way the holes for the grab irons go all the way through the sides and are finished in a sloppy fashion. There isn't much detail on the underside. The trucks are free rolling and all of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 3.7 ounces without the coal load. Adding the load brings the total to 4.1 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is about 4.4 ounces. Overall, I think this is a well done model that would look great as part of a modern unit coal train. It has good detail and is accurate to the prototype. I am, however, disappointed by the lack of uncoupling levers and air hoses on a car at this price level. I'm going to take a spike for that. I am also bothered by the way the grab iron holes come through the car body and the fact that several of the grab irons are crooked. I'm going to take another spike for that. My final verdict is 8 out of 10 spikes.